They have extreme jitters and tremulousness uh, to the point of almost convulsing. They have a high-pitched uh, cerebral cry. Uh, their eyes are, are rolling around. Um, they have nasal congestion. Um, they have excessive yawning, um, sneezing. Uh, they have diarrhea. They get very uh, sore uh, bottom from excoriation. Uh, they scratch themselves. They have a voracious sucking, and yet when you offer the breast or the bottle, they don't have a coordinated uh, suck. It's really, it's very obvious how much pain these babies are, are suffering. Um, often these babies are premature and they're often growth restricted. Mothers, uh, as I said, diet has been poor, so their growth is suboptimal. Um, so uh, often they're quite scrawny uh, babies, but um, unless mother has had a big overdose of, uh, of uh, narcotic um, close to delivery, the babies are usually not depressed at birth. The most uh, acute period is the first uh, two to three weeks. Um, some babies we just can't discharge for up to five or six weeks, but then they seem to have a subacute withdrawal uh, for up to six months. More recently, we've moved into using morphine, um, a, a narcotic, um, as a a kinder way to treat these babies. The, there are problems with the narcotic, um, the morphine program, because many of these children have to have the, uh, the treatment once they go home. So we're putting the, um, empowering the parents to give the morphine at home. And as you can appreciate, there can be difficulties uh, with that program. There, you know, potentially if the wrong dose is given, there can be side effects, of course, from morphine, even death, if um, they're overdosed. The, the difficulty, the question one's always asking, is there a, a fetal imprinting effect on the brain of the fetus from the drugs that it's been exposed to. Does that some way set up uh, a adverse outcome or does that predispose to, to an addiction pattern for that child in later life? Of course, it's almost impossible to separate that question from the rearing pattern that the babe's been exposed to after delivery. What we have found is that uh, when we've done uh, Bailey tests, the IQ test at uh, one year and two years, that the, the mean IQ score is very close to uh, babies who have not had uh, substance use. Um, sometimes their temperament and behavioural uh, scores are, uh, are different. Um, any differences that we do have, we think relate more to the rearing pattern. So much of uh, the outcome of these uh, children is dependent on, you know, the love and the stimulation and the environment. So much of, you know, what ha may have been an adverse intrauterine environment can be reversed by an excellent uh, postnatal environment.